Atlanta United. He, uh, unlucky. Um, so my most impressive for Atlanta United, uh, Marcelino Moreno finally came out of his shell and started playing like a number 10. Uh, probably due in part to the coaching change, right? Um, I very heavily focused my uh, my attention on the second, the post po uh, post change, yeah. um, team, uh, but he's been phenomenal. Um, excuse me. The other, my least impressive, um, Jurgen Dom. Jurgen Dom came in to be the Julian Gressel replacement at right wing back, and he has gotten a hundred minutes this entire season. Just a complete. Um, I don't want to call him a flop because I think he still has a chance to get in there. But if Jake Mulraney starting over you, you might just <laughs> want to retire. Um, best player, I think there's no real question about it. Machop Chol, um, by name alone. Is that is that okay? Is that acceptable? Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay um, with that. I think I think you gotta so. I, I don't want to keep doing the best player, most impressive player thing, um, but Marcelino Moreno kind of fits that bill. Uh, there's a shout for Yosef coming back, six goals in 945 minutes, um, and a red card. <laughs> Love that. Um, <laughs> but I'll go Moreno here. I think if you look at any game that Atlanta plays, um, Moreno is always the focus, much like Miggy was the focus when he was here. So yep. I'll go. I'll go with that. That's pretty fair. Uh, did you hit? Did you do least impressive? Yeah, Jurgen Dam can't get over. Oh Jake. yeah, yeah. Okay. Sad. Uh, so wholly agree with you. Moreno's definitely been the best player. Um, I think for me that's a pretty easy choice. Been pretty happy with what he's been able to do. Uh, I, I do feel like Barco's starting to kind of get it together with ever since they got rid of. Hines, uh, I just don't think he's up to Moreno's level yet. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, most impressive, I'm going to go with Anton Walks. When they signed Alan Franco, I didn't even expect him to be a part of the starting 11 anymore. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they made their formation so that he would still be a part of it. I think he's been impressive. Um, again, I don't think he's the best player on their team let alone even the best player in their back line. But for what I expected out of him at the start of the season to be more of like a, a bench presence, I think he's I think he's been very solid for them. I think he's had a, a really good impact on the team. And least impressive for me, Eric Lopez. Kind of was, when they signed him last year, was kind of expecting him to be the heir to Yosef's striker throne. And he's come in, he's played... He started, I, I don't really know how this works. Is it started 10 started and then the parentheses is seven? Sub, subbed on seven, yep. He said seven. He's been he's been out there 17 times. He's got a one goal. I just, he's been, he hasn't really been able to get his, to get it together. He just hasn't been able to have that impact on the team. That and being I, said, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. That no, being go said, ahead. Um, it does not mean he won't be the heir apparent. He's still yeah, 19 of course. years old. Yeah, he's very young. But yeah, this definitely seems to have been a uh, a, a rough one for him, I think. Yeah, I mean, it, normally in this case, if you were asking me like the player that I think has been the most disappointing, I mean, I would probably say Kubo Torres, but I just also did not have high expectations for Kubo at all. So it's hard for me to say like, oh, he's been the least impressive, whereas like Eric Lopez, I had some expectations for, and he just hasn't hit them really at all. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, oh, I mean, you could also. Well, no, it's I can't really. You can't really go for that one. That's kind of unfair. I was well, thinking of Lissandro Lopez, but nah, he, only, he he came in straight up to be a play for like seven games, and you're out because he, he, he was an international, so he, he had to clear a roster spot. Yeah, as I he, learned, he made it two games, and then. The, his contract was mutually terminated. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think the signing, if, if we look at now that I've played football manager for like a quarter of a season, um, that they they basically signed him on like, dude, you're 37. Um, we'll get, we'll let you come in. We'll we'll pay you this much money. Uh, once Joseph comes back, we're cutting you loose. And he's like, I right, bet. 
I would almost, I'd almost, I'm not going to pick him, but honorable mention for least impressive, maybe Emerson Heinemann as well. He's been definitely under, under impressive. Yeah. I think he's, I mean, he's only got seven games. So you got to figure he probably got the boot out of the lineup. I know Sosa's in there. They've been playing uh, Sadich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. It I doesn't feel like he's in and around the team much anymore. Yeah, I hear you. I'll still stick with Lopez, though. Nice. Uh, granted, he, like you said, he will. he's so young, there's still plenty of time for him to turn around. I yeah. just think it's been a, a very slow start.